everybody. Thanks for joining us on today's video on what is believed and perceived and in conversation that started all of the muscle car craze. We're talking about the GTO, Gran Turismo Omlegato. So many people don't know what it is, so they don't say it like that. So what they do say, it's a goat. And if it's a goat, it's potentially the greatest of all time, right? This one here, even better. When we look at this car, you're going to go, wow, this is a cool car. But a lot of times people look at a car and they'll say, that's a good-looking car, but they don't really know why it's a good-looking car. We're going to walk around today. We're going to look at that and see some of those things. First off, we start with redline tires. Redline tires just look so good on a car. These are redline radials, so they're a little more expensive than the other ones, but they make the driving so much better. Nestled inside the correct uh, wheel covers here is disc brakes, right? These cars came with drum brakes back in the day. Uh, there were plenty to stop them, and, uh, but this one's upgraded with disc brakes, and I think that uh, it makes a big difference. This car is pretty fast, so you want to make sure that you can stop as well. I know that sounds funny, like, of course I want us to be able to stop, but some of these old cars didn't really have a lot of the things that you should be thinking about. We're going to look at that right now, and let's start with uh, uh, the paint, because that's the place you want to be. See when your car rolling down the road? Shiny and beautiful. All right, so I want to talk about the quality of paint for a minute. Under these harsh lights, you could tell when a car is not done well. That's why I like to do it here, okay? Look at how crisp each letter is on the car. I'm sorry, on the car, yes, in the paint. How crisp it is, how you can see everything that's in there. Get a video, man. You don't buy cars just uh, on pictures alone. Uh, we can always do a video of any car that we have here if there isn't one online yet, and uh, we can help you walk through it. It's the prep that goes to making a car beautiful. It's not the paint. You and I could paint cars, right? It's what goes on first. Then, if that's smooth, you'll know I'm telling the truth here when you, see, when you think about this. How many times have you fixed a nail hole in the wall, rushed it, then painted it, and you can still see it, right? It's all wrapped up in the paint. All right, let's take a peek under here because this is uh, where a lot of the magic is. You go to a car show and you open up the hood. This is a game changer. Not many people get to see a tri-power setup with the three two-barrel carburetors, right? And we have a lot of correct stuff, too, like we have power disc brakes, but we have like this nice battery topper. Here's another correct piece here where we have two belts on here. So when you get the tri-power, the car makes more power, it revs faster, right? And would throw off the single belt. Because this car has power steering, you would want the dual belt system in case one of them broke, right? Because uh, if you've ever had the steering uh, belt go out on you when you're driving, it's a pretty scary thing to go from full power steering to nothing in a full-size car. And this kind of helps prevent all that. Restored radiator, GM hoses with the correct tower clamps on here. Just little detail stuff that, you know what, makes a big difference when you go to a car show or even if you just want to look at it in your own garage. Have beer, glass of wine, soda, or whatever, just sit around here and just look at, wow, this is one cool piece. The fact that this is 2000, 2020, right? And this is 1964, uh, as we're approaching 60 years old. 60 years old, this thing's on the road, looking good, and uh, really, really a lot of happiness wrapped up in this car. All right, so we look at the back of the car. This is unmistakable Pontiac. Like, this is their signature. This was a great looking taillight set up here where they painted this to make it look like the taillight went all the way across, right? Kind of cool. Then a lot of manufacturers struggled to find a place to put the filler cap in so they didn't cut a hole in the side of the car uh, with a flap here. Remember the 57 Chevy, right? The 50s tri-power Chevys with that uh, filler there. Here, they buried it right in here, which was kind of nice. They made a really nice little piece out of it. All right, this right here, we pulled up the trunk mat. All right, so you can see how nice the trunk is. All detailed and painted. The ribs are nice and deep. And the, why, the reason why you want the ribs nice and deep is this isn't a rusty trunk that was filled with Bondo and repainted. We have a spare tire. We have a jack. We have a spare tire coming, a spare tire cover coming, right? And then two decals that are missing here would be the jacking instructions and uh, the spare tire. So uh, what else we got? We got enough room here to uh, go away on vacation. You could go to the beach in this car. You could go out with another couple to dinner. You could take the kids someplace. A lot, a lot of fun could be had in something like this. Imagine if you just wanted to drive to work, huh? And go to work and drive to work, right? All right, so come join me in here. Listen, when you're talking about full-size or mid-size cars, these are great cars. These seats, there's so much room up front. You slide this up, you can sit three people back here comfortably, right? And I talk about it all the time. When you own a car like this and you go out to dinner with another couple or you take the kids for a drive or, or something like that, it's uh, an amazing, amazing experience. It's just a game changer. Dinner tastes better. Fun with the kids is better. And you get in and you're like, 
Wow, man, this dash is amazing. Engine turn dash right here. Uh, so ahead of its time. That's right, here's a digital upgrade to the factory style stereo, right? So you get some nice music. Buckets in a console. It's just a nice, nice car. Not to mention the color combination is fabulous. I sit in here and I go, wow, this is just amazing. We have a power top, we have power steering, we have disc brakes, nice stereo, great exhaust system, sounds even better. And then when under the hood, anybody says, well, what do you got under the hood? Ah, nothing, man, I got nothing, right? You know you got a little something. All right, so we close up this video. Keep in mind, Pontiac made hundreds and hundreds of thousands of cars in 1964. Hundreds of thousands. Remember, there was no Honda, Toyota, Lexus, Infiniti. None of those things were going on at the time, right? This is one of 6,644 GTO convertibles. Real deal with Pontiac Historical Society documentation proving its originality. That's a pretty cool piece of history that you'd be talking about. And how many are left on the road that aren't rusted out, totaled, wrecked, stolen, whatever? And here we are, uh, just, a, just a, an amazing era on a vehicle that started the muscle car revolution. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you how to uh, find a way to get this in your garage. Don't forget to subscribe below if you would. And if you would share it with some other people, that would be awesome as well. And throw some comments in there, man. I'd love to hear about GTOs. I'd love to hear about the things that you did wheeling around, maybe some things you shouldn't have been doing. You can share that with me, too. And uh, we'll keep it PG rated when you say that, but I like it. Anyway, have a great day.